second webinar, our topic is mom and baby product. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Nini. I'm one of the marketing in Cosmex Indonesia, and I accompany with Sini as a formulator team for skincare product. First, let's discuss about market overview. Since pandemic COVID-19 and people avoiding to do activity outside, the phenomenon of baby boom are increased. The United States, uh, the United Nations Children Fund or UNICEF predict that around 160 million babies will be born during this pandemic. Nowadays, mother and new generation mother have a lot of activity and also educated millennial parents got informed and much more tech savvy. So they will seek product that make life easier. The impact of social media also influenced the young parents to try a new product after reading review from their favorite celebrity or influencer. Maybe we can conclude that they will choose and like compact and also simple product which can fulfill all needs regarding to all the problems appears or we can say one product for all issues from survey in 2018 by e-commerce iq there is found that 66 percent of indonesian shopper purchased by online and 57 percent are spending less than 500,000 rupiah per purchase and also, if we talk about sales in Indonesia and referring to the situation quarantine, online shopper percentage will be increased. As we can see here, the data from IQE Marketplace Indonesia, Moms and Baby Care Grows are get number two, the biggest percentage demand, with 27% from all total famous categories. This correlated with the new generation mom that have full-time jobs are get the efficiency through the online shop. And these are the marketplace that well known to selling the product needs. 64% of Indonesian mothers start their online shopping journey by going directly to trust e marketplace from Google, Facebook, and also Instagram, remain the powerful tools to discover the new brands. As I mentioned before, young parents not hesitate to try a new product after reading a review from their favorite celebrity or social media influencer. Then now I will inform the problems that might occur when the pregnancy situation. Pregnancy can change the state of a woman's body and also habits of an ordinary woman to become a pregnant woman. Pregnancy result in various psychological skin changes. As a consequence, some common dermatoses can present more frequently in pregnant women. In addition, there are a number of skin eruptions unique to pregnancy. Change in hormone levels during pregnancy can produce a wide variety of changes in the skin, many of which are unavoidable, but usually the skin change will disappear after children birth. Here, the benign skin change that would be happen. The appearance of the skin surface, such a widening skin due to pregnancy and hormonal influence, may cause the problem such as stretch mark, linea nigra, which commonly happen in women with larger babies and women with higher bodies in the case. For melasma, usually caused by an increase in the body melanin due to hormonal issues. Some women feel like their hair feels thicker and blackened. Next, we will discuss about the baby product and their issues. Let us analyze the baby product in the market. Here is the brand product baby that well known in Indonesia. As seen here, there are a specific function for each product. These are understood because baby have more sensitive skin and also have a thinner layer than adults. Baby products are one of the categories that continue to pass during COVID-19. Even in the pandemic era, consumers keep prioritizing their needs. Some categories are able to gain benefit. 
from the search by work panel baby personal care increasing 6% and gut value contribute for 8% in 2018. But still, in COVID-19, impact of product baby and maternity mom are increased. Here, the chart analyzed from Commission Euro Monitor that Indonesia increased growth in six ASEAN countries. Indonesia, with a large number of small children in the population, 24 million, in the 0 until 4 age range and growing awareness health and hygiene among parents, has great potential for import baby product. During the period 2014 until 2018, the retail sales of baby and maternity product increased by 8% annually. With raising purchasing power, Indonesia's baby and maternity marketplace to flourish in coming years. Basically, baby products have more special specification than ordinary product in general. These are understood because baby have more sensitive skin and also have a thinner layer than adults. Regarding to the knowledge, modern mom, or we call new generation mom, prefer to high standardization product for the baby. Based on consumer's needs, companies follow the special requirement when doing product development, such as dermatology tested, no tears formula, hypoallergenic, paraben free, and so on. Those are feel the parents the concern for baby product. Usually, baby Babies are born with the fermix or waxy layer protection that cover their body in the womb to protect their skin from amniotic fluid. This is normally happens to babies in the first few weeks after birth. This layer starts peeling off and giving the appearance to of dry, flaky skin. A newborn baby's skin is actually quite moist under the outermost layer. However, I, it does need lotion or moisturizer, it can become dry when exposed to dry air in the room and also after a bath. Skin condition that usually happen to babies. New, uh, newborns get rashes easily. Nappy rash is most common between the age zero, uh, the age of nine and 12 months. The nappy area is exposed to constant moisture wrapping and rubbing, which may irritate and damage the skin and cause nappy rash and newborn dry skin, newborn after have very dry feeling skin in the initial period after birth. This is due to the fact that the infant has exercised in the fluid environment for several months. And after birth, the skin cells start to regenerate, which result in the peeling of the old skin cells. And regarding to the sensitivity of skin babies, so an infant and chill skin can easily burn from the sun exposed, causing real and even permanent damage. If the baby is going to be outdoor, it's important to avoid direct sunlight. For infant over six months of age, it's okay to apply a sunscreen 15 until 20 minutes before going outside and repaid every two hours. Usually, parents, especially moms, choosing the selective product according to the baby's skin. Problems can occur for several reasons besides the sensitive skin, dry skin, and allergy. Regarding to the sensitivity of baby skin, it's important to keep baby skin moisturized and also calm. Avoid allergen and that can occur from the food consumed and also the product use. Based on the sensitivity, other requirements concern due to development process products such as using safe ingredients, avoiding fragrance, or keeping the pH of the product in accordance with the pH of the skin, or we can call gentle product or mild product. Okay, from small information that I do present, now we can hear from Shani, the proposal product from Cosmec that's suitable with the markets and provide enlightenment for product development and get space in consumer heart. So in this session, I will be presenting to you uh, eight products. So thank you very much for 
joining for joining this webinar. Uh -huh. It's very uh, nice to see you all guys here. If you have any concerns or questions, you can contact the PIC marketing for more details. Mm -hmm. And thank you for the attention to this webinar. Yes. <laughs> see you on the next webinar. Bye-bye.